someone who actually just stands for your rights yes. activism yeah. pale kwa mtandao wewe yeah. unaona serikali imekukoseaje kama msanii mimi nachukia serikali na roho yangu yote that's first and foremost um, i think the government is just not working plain and simple i don't think they're doing anything for kenyans if anything i think they're taking away from kenyans so like for me if you ask me what has the government done is nothing and if the government is doing nothing they have, they have no business being where they are um, and i say that unashamed i say that without any fear because even them deep down in their hearts they know they're doing absolutely nothing there's a whole femicide situation in the country where and the government is, has not addressed it there was a march at the beginning of the year they've not addressed it and we're gonna go for another march they won't address it still but we'll keep making noise until they figure a point where they start listening to the people because no power is greater than the people's power yeah Mtazamaji naomba utazame hapa kuna Costa Ojwang na pale kuna Samaki. Lakini Costa uh, anauliza mbona nimewekewa samaki? Wote. Wamenipea samaki. Una feel aje about your story? It smells fishy. Come on. Ba, 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 but you represent health. Suda. Lion guy. Lakini you know you know what they say? Eh? Bala. <laughs> You know what they say? Yours represents health. They Absolutely. they say health is well. Kabisa, kunyoni maji na Yesu. And you know that's the most important thing, health. Mm. Mm. How are you doing? Niko salama? Una filaje leo. Niko healthy. Hey, hey. Niko healthy. I'm a accept. Tuna ma pressure. Niko po, niko po. Now, Ojong let me ask you, Kodong clan. How did you guys get together in the first place because you guys are a number of very talented individuals kabisa kama mko mnajua get it from me how did you guys get together um ni bromans mhm tuna tunapendana na tunaheshimiana kikazi na i just think ni rahisi kupata similar energies ni let's say real recognizes real eh so me and you are few people but the few people left to the other ones that didn't know me and then pia wakanijua na i think pia ni kutambuana tu na mali pa kazi sana sana vitu za talent nataka support especially support from another person who is maybe equally as good or slightly good better than you eh? who was the first person that you got to know from this yeah. max oh max huh? how did you guys meet um kisumu long time ago uh -huh. over 10 years ago ah, very nice eh? do you have a favorite song on this oh. album yeah uh hmm finally aha uh -huh. why na mtasikia utajua tu ukisikia leo utajua okay. so please ukisikia alafu ipende ukuje uniambie usisikie alafu ujikalisha nayo uh, <laughs> and then pia kodong the song because uh, yes. nimefanya vitu zenye you would con not conventionally expect me to do oh yeah, yeah. I understand everyone has a role they've played in this what have you done mostly on this album expected guys yes wongo you lying mm, you wimbo <laughs> mimi nimekaa na ujaluo hiyo ni kitu niko nayo ujaluo mingi mziki na guzaro afu um i think pia i like spiritual music yeah so i'd hope that that's another twist and turns and give to young message and the group mm -hmm. away from even as being a, an amazing writer amazing composer So that's one thing I would say ni ongeza kama si samaki As an individual it's easy to make a decision you decide today this is how my music video is gonna look this is how I want my production beats to sound like what has been the biggest challenge having a group together especially talented people what has been the biggest challenge Um I yango ta si challenge ni the things that you are aware of yeah. size mm -hmm. you are aware of ni kianza ku work now person you know no no sana so sometimes you'd have a vision and you'd expect it to go a certain way na kukuona sasa kama hawa inasaidia kufungua avenue nyingine eh so inafanya tu ile saidia ile saidia ku kuwa aware of how big the space can be ukiwa na akili mingi unajua unaweza kuona vision but sasa hiyo vision yako wewe ndio when the judge na labda si poa so pia nasaidia ku live tradition yako yeah huh? all right yeah. mm -hmm. the ease na freedom ya creation kuko na wasi kama hawa ni unaacha tu kila mzee kufanya kile anataka kufanya eh na that leads to something if you open enough time for sure
songs ni kwa watu wasikizizi songs zikitoka songs somewhere ebu wambie as we wind up please tell them why they should listen to that album Kenya music iko time poor iko time poor yenye wasanii wako serious na wasanii wako gifted sana which is the most important thing so sikize any project any project tam away from this pia kuna albums individual wasanii kuna ya Ben Sol kuna album ya Tandawili imetoka i think it's a week old now mm-hmm. kuna album yangu ni i think two and a half weeks three weeks kuna album ya Charisma kuna ya Modekai imetoka leo muende mbaye but most importantly Kodonklan sikize any project na mtaibamba mtajibamba nayo kabisa Costa Juan Guys, as you can see we have charisma over here and he represents wisdom. This is your spirit animal. Do you resonate with the elephant? I, mean, I don't know. I don't know why I was given an elephant, uh-huh. but yeah, it's fine. I think it it looks amazing. It has a nice trunk. It has nice tusks. Yeah. A tusk, so yeah. Scale of on a scale of 1 to 10, how much wisdom do you think you have? I'm I'm very wise. I th- yeah, I think it's on a scale of 1 to charisma. We are sorry guys. Eh to song ebi cameraman and asema song ebi kidogo. We are sorry about that. Let me ask you how did you guys come together as Kodong's clan? Um so it's just like minded individuals who decided to come to uh, talented people just make music together kind of push the agenda of the industry to just take the Kenyan music industry to the next level. And essentially that's what brought us together just the love for music and the love for growth and the love for going to the next level. Yeah. yeah. I mean you have been part of a group before. Yes, Now you are part of yeah, another group. Yeah, I never I never thought I was going to be in another group. But I mean this is not essentially like what I was in with the boy band in the band. This is this is like a collective of musicians who just come together like we're all solo musicians individual artists. We have our own projects but we're just doing things together just to kind of um also hold each other accountable, push each other music together just make quality music together so yeah i mean i think more than most people in the group so i know how to be in a group and like like i mean the watenda really guys for sure but i know how to be in a group modekai so in a bamba manze yeah yeah what's different from you know where you were before and now here what's different i i don't think the the, the different thing is really um has to do with anything more than just us growing as uh, individuals because i think i'm wiser i'm older Uh, there's mistakes I've made in my life that I don't think I, I I would make at this point in time, and I think with all the guys in the group, we've all been in the industry for quite a bit. Um, so there's a lot of things that we've learned that we're bringing together that's really really helping us as individuals and as a group. Yeah. Is there a specific you know incident that you had to address, or rather just tell them guys if this happens, this is how we go as by experience. I mean, I mean one of the things I think I've always said is. Before you work in a group you guys have to be friends like lazma mko mabeshte because i've been in a group and i think being friends was one of the greatest things that i had with the group so eh hey, kuambia tu bond lazma to bond kama ma bro kabla kila kitu and i think it's really helped because we love each other we support each other Benso's project is my project, Costa's project, what you are as whatever. Everyone's project is my project, my project is that project. So we we're just there for each other. Yeah. yeah. Now charisma you're garnering millions of views on YouTube. When you started your solo career, did you ever envision getting this views? I mean, honestly everybody envisions getting them. Like you hope you are going to, but it wasn't easy. I think um I I was I was aware of the challenges that come with it. I knew that it's going to be difficult. Nilijua kwa msanii as kwanza penye nilikuwa nimeanza na ile band kurudi hapo tena itakuwa ngumu. Um so yeah, I mean I knew it was going to be difficult. It wasn't something I take for granted. So yeah. Yeah, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful for everyone who supports me. I'm grateful for the love I'm receiving, especially the last two years have been amazing years for me and like I'm 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 just grateful. Yeah. I understand everyone has a role in this group. What's your biggest role? Ah, uh, mimi ni makeup. Ah, mbona hapana? Hapana mimi mimi ndo msee wao wa kuwapatia wisdom. Acha niambie mimi mimi ndo so I'm the lawyer of the group number one. Number two, I'm also um kind of the person who helps take people through the process. Unajua kufanya kila kitu it makes sense kwa akili zao. Kuifanya sana sana unajua kuna watu kama Yuaya wenye si werevu sana. <laughs> But yani ni kama namtafunia na, na namwekea na kule. Uh, but, but no yeah i guess all of us have um, the role to be creative to be talented to be each other's keeper yeah, yeah. pretty much yeah as someone who actually just stands for your right yes. activism yeah. pale kwa mtandao wewe unaona serikali imekukoseaje kama msanii mimi nachukia serikali na roho yangu yote that's first and foremost um i think the government is just not working plain and simple i don't think they're doing anything for kenyans if anything i think they're taking away from kenyans so like 
for me, if you ask me what has the government done, it's nothing. And if the government is doing nothing, they have, they have no business being where they are. Yeah. Um, and I say that unashamed. I say that without any fear. Because even them, deep down in their hearts, they know they're doing absolutely nothing. There's a whole femicide situation in the country where, and the government is, has not addressed it. There was a march at the beginning of the year. They've not addressed it. And we're going to go for another march. They won't address it still, but we'll keep making noise until they figure a point where they start listening to the people. Yeah. Because no power is greater than the people's power. Yeah. I mean, we have CS Murkomen taking care of the art and culture. We have Dennis Itumbi, part of the creative, um, creative economy. What do you have to say to those people? Um, listen, I, I'm not, I wasn't even for the... I didn't like the appointment of uh, CS Murkomen. Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe things happen to people and they end up changing and starting to work. I'm not holding my breath. I'm not expecting that they're going to do anything. I know these people are just into politics and making their own money. But hopefully one day, one time, maybe, it not, maybe it's not this tenure, maybe it's not this five years, maybe it's not this government. But one day the industry is going to work for creatives. And I'm going to be alive to see that day. Yeah. What if they're willing to work? Just tell them what to do. Do your job. If you're the CS for whatever, do your job. Yeah. I mean, I don't have to tell you what to do. You need to know what your job is. Mini msani. Si ambiwangu endo uimba. Mina imbanga tu. So everyone needs to do their job. If you've been given a role, you're using public money, you're being paid off public money, do your job. Absolutely. There you have it from Charisma. Charisma, we can't wait to hear what you guys have done Thank in so there. so much. I can't wait for you guys to hear it too. Thank you. Asante sana. Appreciate it.